was born to be hung. I have never been so shocked in all my days. Hush, Mr. B. You've had quite a turn, and I fancy you might enjoy a little something special. Oh, what is it? Something I'm, a little, uh, something I'm obliged to keep a little of in the house to put into the blessed infant's medicine when they ain't well. And I'll not deceive you, Mr. B. <laughs> it's gin. Well, you are a humane woman, Mrs. Corney. It's nice to be appreciated, Mrs. Corney. These paupers in this parish, they don't appreciate me. Anti-parochial, that's what they are, ma'am. Anti-parochial. Why, we have given away, Mrs. Corney, a matter of 20 loaves and cheese and a half this very afternoon, and still them poppers is not contented. Of course they're not. Why would they be? Sweet, Mr. Bumble. Oh, very sweet indeed, ma'am. <coughs> Bless you. Do you still keep a cat, ma'am? Oh, yes, and kittens too. <laughs> Line. Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, uh... Uh, I'm so fond of them. I'm so very fond of them, Mr. Bumble, you can't imagine. They're so happy, so cheerful, so frolicsome that they're quite companions for me. Very nice animals indeed, ma'am. And very uh, domestic. So fond of their home, too, that it's really quite a pleasure. Mrs. Corney, ma'am, I mean to say this. That any, mm -mm. just stay down, that any cat or kittens who could live with you, ma'am, and not be fond of its home, must be an idiot and don't deserve to live in it. Oh, Mr. Bumble. Well, it's no use disguising the truth, ma'am, and hidden. Well, I would drown it myself. Well, with pleasure. Then you're a cruel man and a hard-hearted man besides. Hard-hearted? Hard? Are you hard-hearted, Mrs. Corney? Mrs. Horney? <laughs> Corney? Oh, dear me. What a strange, what a peculiar question coming from a single man. What can you want to know from Mr. B? I 
Thinking I shall scream. You will wonder where that scream. 